Hi, good morning. Hope that you're doing well. A um, couple of announcements before we get started uh, this week. Um, first of all, uh, my office hours um, have changed. Um, the details about that are on Google um, are on Google Classroom, but I'll be meeting um, on Tuesdays from 9 a.m. until 11 a.m. and also Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday from 10 a.m. until 11 a.m. Um, I'll have a Google Meet that's up and going uh, during my entire office hour period. So if you would like to touch base with me directly, uh, you can just jump on the Google Meet. The uh, meeting code is linked there, so you can take a look at the, uh, it's linked right here, HS Repert. So if you, link, if you uh, go on to that meeting, I'll be there uh, during those times. So if you have any questions, uh, that would be a good time to address those with me. You can also email me at any time, and I check my email regularly um, throughout the day. Uh, but the Google Meet hours are now, um, have changed. So those are listed there. Um, also a reminder um, that your past work from the first, second, and third quarters, we've now ended the uh, third quarter, so that work is now set. So if you have any extenuating circumstances, I know that some of you had touched base with me about um, extenuating circumstances. You can get in touch with me about turning in late work, but um, outside of those um, special situations, um, your third, first, second, and third quarter grades are now locked in. The good news is, is that your grade cannot drop below uh, what it is now at the end of the third quarter. So all of this online work will just be a grade booster for you. So um, there you go. So I'll continue to have Tuesdays as our day where you pick up and drop off work. Uh, so the work from week two uh, is now due. So if you have not submitted that, uh, make sure that you submit that by midnight tonight. Okay, so going on to the week three work, uh, we're going to wrap up uh, taking a look at the monomyth structure. So uh, if you open up the assignment week three um, document, this is what pops up. Uh, you have two options for the final hero's journey assignment. You'll either be able to identify and answer a couple of questions about a contemporary hero, hero of your choice that you think um, fits into the definition of hero as put forward by the um, hero's journey monomyth um, structure. Or you can also create your own monomyth story. Uh, the details about both of those are linked on this document, so take a look at that. Um, so if you just follow along, the first part, um, there's a, a video that I've linked that talks about the monomyth structure. Um, again, so it's just kind of a review of the stuff that we went over during weeks one and two. So you can take a look at that uh, that video and then also a link to the documents that uh, summarize what the different stages and different parts of the monomyth are. Um, I've linked um, here as well. So um, the first one is a more detailed one and the second one is a streamlined one page version of it so that you can, um, again, review what the different stages of the hero's journey are. So the second part is, um, again, you have an option with this part that you can either create a contemporary hero of your, or you can identify a contemporary hero. And the details about that are linked here. So if you open up that document, um, the details about the contemporary hero are here. And it talks about what uh, the task is you have to identify um, someone from the last 20 years, and this needs to be a real, real person. So it can't be a superhero or a fictional character. So a real person from the last 20 years who's overcome a major obstacle to accomplish something heroic. Um, don't use a fictional character for this assignment. Your choice must be um, researchable, uh, and it could be somebody local. It could be somebody national. It could be somebody international, um, but somebody that embodies the cultural values of our society. Please do not use anyone that we already talked about 
uh, in our hero's journey analysis of the different parts that we've gone over so far, or anybody that you personally know. So again, identify a contemporary hero that somebody within the last 20 years um, who you believe um, fills the criteria or uh, can be identified as a hero. Um, your response, there are a couple of questions that I have on here. So this is basically a short answer response sheet. So you'll fill out this short answer response sheet and answer these questions about uh, the hero of your choice. And then you'll submit this document by next Tuesday. Um, that is if you choose the contemporary hero um, option. So this is one option um, of something that you could do for the assignment this week. The second option is to create your own monomyth. Um, so that would basically be, that's a creative writing assignment. And the details about that are linked here, uh, where you create your own hero's journey. Um, this could be fun, um, where you create a character. And this is not meant to be a long thing. So I'm thinking about two pages, so it's not anything that, that's too long. But it might be a fun springboard. Those of you who do um, like to write, um, you could use this and expand it later on. Um, there's an interesting activity uh, that I have linked here. So if you can't, if you're having trouble coming up with characters and details, um, follow this link. And it uh, basically is um, a situation generator uh, and it's specific to the hero's journey. So you can come up with, if you can't figure out what to write about, um, I encourage you to follow this link where you play this dice roll game, uh, where again, you can come up with different ideas for what it is that you want to do on your hero's journey. So figure out what your character's overall goal is, um, the stages of the hero's journey. I want you to use most of them. So I've said 11 of 12 stages. Um, I've linked again the monomyth structure so you can have a refresher about what those different stages are. And then as you are writing the um, paper, I want you to label each stage in parentheses at the end of the sentence where the stage takes place so that um, I can tell uh, when you're moving from one stage into the other. And again, we're using the different stages as are detailed on the monomyth structure document. So take a look at that. Um, a couple of things as well. Uh, again, this is a short story and we're not going to have a chance to give um, feedback or give um, like a rewriting process. So I encourage you to do that process on your own. So go through, make sure that you start this early enough so you have a chance to rework it and re, re, white, uh, re write it. Um, and I want you to write your paper directly on this document. So you'll have the title of your story here and then um, you'll type your, um, you'll type your story into this block. So, and I, again, I've created like two or three pages um, you, it must be at least um, one page long. Uh, it can be longer if you'd like, um, but that's entirely up to you. So this is, uh, then that's it. So that's basically our um, options for the monomyth structure assignment for this week. Um, so you'll either submit the contemporary hero response sheet, which I had linked, or the create your own monomyth response sheet. So either one of those, you'll submit those onto Google Classroom by next Tuesday. That's April 28th, and that needs to be submitted by midnight. Um, details about how it'll be scored is linked there, and um, that's it. So if you have any questions, uh, you can touch base with me during the Google Meet office hours, or you can send me an email, and I'd be happy to. Um, touch base with you. So again, hope that you're doing well. If you need anything, if you have any questions about stuff, um, just send me an email or touch with base with me during office hours. Take care.